Hi everyone, welcome to my Ink at the Life. If it's your first time here, I'm Nick Saylor. I'm a tattoo artist from Liverpool, UK, although I'm born in Brazil. <laughs> um, and this is my channel that is all about tattoos. Today I'm going to tell you guys how to become a successful tattoo artist. Because many friends um, of mine that are tattoo artists and they are starting or they tattoo for only a couple of years, they ask me, but how did you do? How did you, um, in so short time, you managed to go out from Brazil, move to UK and open two tattoo shops? So I'm gonna tell you guys what is my secret, what is my 10 um, mandaments, if you may, um, that I follow to, to carry on my business. Uh, that's how I worked since the beginning and that's how I keep working and it seems like to be working So I'm gonna share you guys all these um, Secrets so keep tuned and I will go back in a second with how to become a successful tattoo artist and before you go Please don't forget to subscribe and activate the little bell so you get notification every single time I post a new video, okay? Okay, so first thing, be on time. I read one thing one time that was saying that if you are um, if you are early, you are on time. If you are on time, you are late. And if you are late, this is unacceptable. This is a quote that I follow um, for so m many years. I have this as my motto for my work, for my life and I am really strict with being on time. I was not always like that, but since I started to be like that, everything started to flow better because, you know, the time is so precious and when you are always on time, people trust you, you know, they know that they can count on you. So they will always uh, believe in whatever you, you say, if you say this day I will gonna be there this time, um, this day I will gonna give you the design, they trust you that you're gonna do that. So be on time, it's extremely important. No client wants to arrive in the shop and wait for the tattoo artist. This happens a lot in the tattoo industry and this, it's being a, a common practice by other tattoo artists, I end up um, being, um, how how I can say, I, I stand out uh, of the others because I am always on time. If you book with me for 11, be sure that I will gonna be in the shop at least 10.30. So yes, unless something like extremely, um, you know, critical or emergency happens, I'm always there at least one hour before, if not um, more, but half an hour before, it's uh, the minimum, but mostly of the time I'm one hour, one hour and a half before. So yeah, I'm always on time. Okay, so the second thing, keep your word. So if you tell a client, hey, on Wednesday, I will gonna send you a design. Send the design on the day you said. If you tell a client, tomorrow I'm gonna message you, message tomorrow. So keep your word. If you always keep your word, you again, it shows that you are someone that can be trusted. And I, it's another thing that I always do. I always keep up my word. And one time I booked with a tattoo artist and he told me um, that he would do the design uh, before the appointment. And I said specifically, I know you are that good artist. I know you're famous and everything. But I want to know if you were going to send me the design before the appointment um, for me to book. Because if you're not going to send me the design before the appointment, I don't want to book you, with you. And he gave me his word. He said, yes, I will going to send you before um, the design. Okay. I booked like one month or so before um, for the tattoo. And when it was like a week 
before the appointment, I started messaging him and he said, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna send you. Tomorrow came, he didn't send me. After tomorrow, I'm gonna send you. He didn't send me. One night before the appointment, I asked him, hey, what is my design? And he said, oh, I'm gonna show you tomorrow. I mean, I had put a um, hundred pounds deposit for the tattoo and it was like a tattoo that I was really um, excited about, but this, thing of not keeping up the word it's an artist that i will never go back to no matter how good um, the person is no matter how good artist he or she is for me nikki if someone tells me i will gonna send you the design and don't send it's goodbye goodbye forever that's why sometimes if it's a very simple design and i don't have time i tell my clients before hey, I will gonna send you the design a night before because I don't have time or I will gonna show you on the day. But always tell your clients what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do and keep your word. The third thing, be friendly. Nobody wants to enter in a tattoo shop and everybody is like with this poker face and like you feel like you are disturbing the people for entering in the shop. Another thing that is common to happen in the tattoo industry and uh, something that happened to me before to enter in a tattoo shop, nobody even say hello to you, good morning, good afternoon, nothing. And you are there and then when you talk to someone, they make like, you know, like that face, like you are being disturbed. Or you go to get a tattoo and you spend six hours with an artist and he don't say a word. Okay, me and Nikki. I read talk a lot by default, even if the person don't talk, I make a monologue and maybe this also upset people, I don't know, but at least one thing I can say, I am friendly and I'm always friendly. If you come to me or to my shop, I will always welcome you with a smile. So I find for me, this is very important and people keeps coming back exactly for this reason, because in my shops, we are all friendly and that's um, the vibe I want to transmit to my clients, to be a happy, friendly place. Another one, be fair. What means be fair and just? Um, not only with your clients, but also with your colleagues, with your tattoo artists, if you own a tattoo shop, always be fair. Uh, what this means, for example, if you gonna tattoo someone uh, something like this size and it's just, I don't know, black and gray and you know that will take you, I don't know, half an hour and you tell the client, oh, it will be this much and then some other client comes and the other client, I don't know, looks rich or posh or something and then you say that for that, that very same tattoo you charge more just because for the way that the person looks that doesn't work. You can think that today you are making like a good business, but word travels around and believe me, eventually that person will gonna find out and people will gonna find out that in that shop, um, the people give the, the prices by the stomach and it's not fair, it's not a fair shop. So always be fair to your clients, not only about prices, but about everything. Another common practice in tattoo shops that I say be fair is that some shops they tattoo per hour and then the tattoo artist will gonna be there like taking forever to finish the tattoo just to charge more, you know? These things doesn't work. Just be fair with your clients. I mean, if you do your job good, if you are a good person, if you're friendly, if you follow all these 10 steps that I'm telling you, you don't need to cheat. You don't need to be unfair. You don't need to use, you know, these snaky ways and, and be like using of dirt um, techniques to, to rip off people. Don't do that. This will gonna ruin your business in a long term. Even if you don't have a shop, it will ruin your reputation. So always be fair to people. Be honest. So fair and honest are hand in hand, but what about uh, being honest? Be honest with the clients, be honest with your colleagues. So one example, if a client um, wants to do a tattoo that is like this size, uh, like that really big, and you know that we're gonna take two sittings and you know that we're gonna cost the client about 600 pounds and you see that the client doesn't look that much that would 
um, have this much to, to pay or you don't want to scare the clients and then what you say you say um, I think we're gonna take one session and then the client goes there do that one session and then when you didn't finish in one day you're gonna say ah so you actually have to come back for one more sitting and we're gonna cost you more than what you was expecting this doesn't work the client might go to you to finish the tattoo but again in the long term the client will never go back because people don't want to be caught in this situation so always be honest if the tattoo will gonna cost two thousand pounds it's a scary money right but it's how much we're gonna be so tell them up front so like this they have the the choice to start with you or not and because if you trick them to say that we're gonna be less just to grab the client and you're not being honest you may want want that client for now but be assured that he will gonna be really pissed off on you and we're gonna have this negative energy and tell talk bad about you to other people and all this bad um, reputation we're gonna come back to you and you're gonna lose much more clients and if you if you was honest from the beginning and this is not only about prices it's about everything It's about for example if a client sometimes they don't know about tattoos um, they don't know how we're gonna heal they don't know nothing but you know and I see sometimes tattoo artists um, doing tattoos with a font like this 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 tiny even though they know that in a couple years that design we're gonna all get blobbed and become all together and you cannot tell what is written and they do even though without without telling this to the client just to get that client for the moment and they don't care how we're gonna heal how we're gonna look in a couple of years so they are not honest so this is another thing that i follow in my business is that we are always honest it can be good it can be bad news doesn't matter we tell the people the truth how we're gonna heal how we're gonna be we are honest so like this they know they can trust us so all these steps that i'm telling you guys it's building up the trust between you and the client because if the client trusts you you know you're gonna grow the client will recommend you people will gonna come to you and you're gonna thrive so always think on the long run never think only about today don't rush this is another thing um, common in shops that are usually street shops commercial shops i worked in a shop like that before and it was horrible so sometimes um, you have like loads of small tattoos or medium tattoos and then you see more people coming and then they think oh let me rush this one so then i can grab another client don't do that it's much better for you to get do quality tattoos than quantity tattoos and i will tell you a, a small story i worked in a shop before that i had a manager that was all the time in my ears come on hurry up hurry up i have f five people six people waiting there on the door hurry up you will never um you have to finish it fast so they were trying always by quantity it was a shop in the city center and it was always busy with walking and i had to rush my tattoos the quality of my tattoos in that shop because i was always having someone rushing me on my ears it was i look back back i look behind and it was terrible i mean i didn't have quality it was just numbers you know i'm not proud of the works i did that i knew that if i could spend time on doing that the the tattoos the way i wanted to put all the details i wanted to put you know whites and and the small things i could do much better when i left that shop and when i left the second shop and finally i went to a shop that i could do the things the way uh i managed the way i was you know i was deciding my own <laughs> timing and my own way of working i started charging uh, per tattoo instead of per hour so like this um i could take as much as i i can take because also when you you charge per hour um sometimes the clients have only like 
Monday work for two hours and then you see yourself having to rush on that tattoo to finishing the time. So what I did, I started don't care about the time. I just did, okay, one client a day or two clients if it was something small and I was leaving a lot of time for each client. So like this, I could put um, all my passion, all the details, I could, you know, not rush and the quality of my tattoos improved considerably. It didn't even look like it was like the same person doing that tattoos. So not rushing, it's extremely important. So focus on the quality of each tattoo. Doesn't matter if it's a small letter or if it's a big tattoo, never rush a tattoo. Okay, so another one, do as much as you can do, not more, not less. So what this means, again, when I was working on, on seed center shops, these shops that are really busy, we had 15 um, clients a day, 12 clients a day. So that was um, the average of people we were uh, attending per day. But when you do the first, second, third client, you do like really nice. When you are on the sixth client or seventh client, how you expect that we're gonna be the tattoo? So don't tire yourself. Do only as much as you can do so you can maintain the quality. That's why nowadays I book one or two clients maximum. If it's something that takes more than three hours, if it takes four hours, it's already only one client for the day for me. So like this, I know that I will be always fresh and ready for my client, not tired, with the hands not hurting, with the back not hurting. So I can tattoo one client for eight hours, but when it's like many people, you have to um, set up and set up and so on. So it's, it's really tiring and the quality is not the same. It's the same thing when we do like uh, Friday 13th, that we always do like millions of small, small, small tattoos in these events and everybody gets really tired but we always try to keep um, just a certain amount per artist to do the tattoos and we take breaks and we put more artists just to make sure that nobody is extremely tired to start lacking on the quality even when it's these events so always think like that don't overdo yourself don't tattoo for one million hours to be tired and, and compromise your quality so that's another thing i say do only as much as you can do don't do more than what you are able to don't gossip yeah so i've been to the shops that the people were um bitching around among each other talking bad about tattoo artists talking you know that's terrible this looks bad um looks you look bad in front of your clients, this looks bad um, among your co-workers and the owner of the shop will also look to you and think, oh my God, this person, it's, um, if talks like that about this person will eventually talk like that about me. So never talk about other clients to your clients, never talk about other tattoo artists to your clients. I mean, never gossip, that's pure and simple. So never talk about um, other people you can tell funny stories about you know like ah, I had one time a, a client that did want a tool and happened this happened that these funny stories it's all right but never mention names never you know say who was or no don't gossip because you know people don't want to feel uncomfortable in your shop they don't want to think that when they turn their back first thing you're gonna do is talk about them to the other people so yeah that's another thing so be professional. What it means be professional? Try to not jiggle with your clients. Um, not only this, I mean, this is how I, I think. I never will cross the line with my clients. I'm always um, professional with my clients. So I will never give my personal number to my clients. I will never call them late at night. I will not let, answer them like late in the night. I will not, um, talk much about private things that are, you know, be professional. Treat your client friendly, but not 
um, crossing the line. Don't make jokes that offend them. Don't make jokes that offend any type of uh, anybody. Um, don't put your views, your political, religious or whatever views uh, to the people. Be always neutral. And if the clients also tell you something that, you know, it's offensive or something, just, you know, be neutral. That is my my way of acting and reacting with the clients. I'm always professional. I am there to do the tattoo, the job. That's all I have to do. Whatever they think, whatever they, they you know, believe, it's, it's not up to me to change or to, you know, argue about that. I don't care. <laughs> my job is just to do the tattoo and that's all I care about. So be always professional. I don't accept uh, lift home from clients because, you know, in the past happen, always happen things that makes you learn in the long term. And nowadays um, I learn a lot because I'm seven years in this trade. I work in many shops. I have, um, I own two tattoo shops. So this, all these 10 things that I am telling you guys are things that, you know, I learn in the hard way. So I'm sharing with you guys because like this, you don't need to pass through what I pass to, to learn this thing. So yeah, always keep the things professionally. Uh, don't sleep with your clients, don't sleep with your coworkers, keep the distance, don't touch people. I rarely, rarely hug or kiss or this kind of stuff to my coworkers or my clients because I like to keep things professionally, you know? When is my friends, is my friends. When it's my clients, it's my clients. When is my co-works, is my co-works. I don't mix stuff. Also, this is another thing, being professional. So if you have friends or family or something, always keep it professionally. Because if you tattoo a friend and something goes wrong, you can ruin the friendship, you can ruin everything. So my recommendation, if you have a friend that wants a tattoo, Tell the friend, hey, don't talk about tattoos in the barbecue when I'm drunk or when I'm partying. Don't talk about business in my free time. If you want to get a tattoo with me, you do like everybody else. You go to the shop, you message, you arrange an appointment, you put a deposit, and then I tattoo you like everybody else. And this I also learned in, a, <laughs> in the hard way. And nowadays I live like that and my life became so much better since I separated, you know, friends, family, business and kept it, kept it all professional. So yeah, <laughs> be wise guy, be professional. And the last thing, <laughs> have a life. Yeah, so another thing that I learned in these years is to have a life because I'm an, a workaholic person. I almost said alcoholic. <laughs> I'm not alcoholic, I'm workaholic. Yeah, so I'm really workaholic. I was working seven days a week up to one point. For two years, I tattooed seven days a week. I was wrecking myself of working. I was coming home, answering messages, posting on Instagram, Facebook and everything. So I am addicted to work. So I'm always doing things to keep me busy. It bores me to don't do nothing. So much that I invented the, to make a channel on the YouTube when I was on lockdown because I just can't do nothing. And this also affects many other things. Like if you, have, if you have a partner or if you have a family, if you have pets, I mean, you need, you need free time. You need to relax a bit because like this, this will make your life better. The world will not stop if you don't check your Facebook or Instagram messages from work one day. So what I started doing is I from now I don't check Facebook, Instagram shops message on Sundays. So Sunday is totally free for me. I don't do nothing from work. Well, I'm doing the YouTube on a Sunday. So yeah, <laughs> it's not 100% accurate that. Uh, but for me, this YouTube is not even something that is work for me. I consider it as a fun <laughs> thing. But yeah, I don't do nothing um, on Sundays. And also after six, seven o'clock in the evening, I also don't do nothing from work. 
uh, during the week. I try that. This I fail many times if I have a design to do for the next day. I end up doing that design in the evening. So this is not like 100% um, accurate, but I try as maximum as I can to have a life. Because if you don't, it consumes you, you know, you're gonna get stressed, you're gonna get depressive. Sometimes I had like um, breakdowns and crises. Uh, I wanted to drop everything. I wanted to sell all my business. I wanted to, I don't know, you know, go to live somewhere on the beach, being a hippie, doing <laughs> things like just to don't have stress. These things pass on your mind when you are with too much things to do, when you are like, you know, that heavy weight on your shoulders. So make sure you always have a life. Um, go out, go for holidays, do things that pleases yourself, that is not related to work, that is not related to tattoo. You need to have at least one day that you don't think about tattoo, that, you know, you don't do nothing related to work. If you like to draw, if you like to paint, do it, but don't do tattoos, do something else. I mean, this I put, on in place on my life after being so stressed but so stressed that i almost you know give up almost give up everything because it was really too much for me but now that i manage to to acknowledge that i must have a life that i must enjoy life that you know tattooing and my work is not everything in my life that i have i have pets i have you know other things that I should do, uh, and I love going on holidays. I travel a lot. I try to go to go at least twice a year um, to somewhere nice on holidays. I take day offs. So since I started doing that, uh, tattoo became a passion for me again. Because up to one point when I was working seven days a week for two years, I was crying. I I said I didn't want to tattoo anymore, but it's because I overdid, and when i started to realize that and i changed these things on my life now it's pure fun now i love what i do i love my job i i love everything about tattoo about having a business because you know business for me is also something that i enjoy a lot and since then my quality of life became better so start if you're starting now to be a tattoo artist or if you are just in the beginning always think about that even if you have a hundred clients waiting to be booked with you don't overdo yourself take time off uh, have you know holidays and don't work too much so always have a life yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that was useful for you not only for your tattoo business because this works for any industry so if you have other type of business or if you work with something else or even for your own life you can apply these rules i i live by these 10 rules uh, nowadays and it worked so well for me i am doing fine so yeah i am I can guarantee you guys that this really works and yeah so if you like this video please subscribe uh, put the little bell as well so you get the notifications when new videos and yeah if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions on anything you can use the comments below that I will answer you guys okay so see you on the next video bye